All right, I'm going to do my next update on Squeaks here, and he's eating, which isn't very exciting um, for a video, but it's good because maybe you'll, you'll listen to what I have to say and not be distracted by his cuteness. He is super cute. Um, and as I said in the first video, he's very much um, kind of blank slate in the fact that he doesn't really know about um, interactions with humans, but he really wants to. He's absolutely all about climbing on your lap and being friendly and loving. He has no idea how to play, you know, doesn't know how to play with toys and stuff. He is integrated with other cats, a male and a female. He does fine. But here are the issues that I see. First of all, over food. As is very typical of a stray, he's really anxious about his food, really eager for his food. He would easily overeat if you gave him too much food, so you have to portion control. And his clashes with the other cats do occur when it's feeding time because he's with two other cats who are also very anxious about their food. I don't leave food down. I portion control. So when I come up here to distribute food, they are all, you know, bumping into each other and bumping into me and really, really anxious. And he gets, you know, kind of hissy and they get hissy. And so we have some clashes over the food. And so in a home, I can see where that would happen. You'd really have to be, um, make sure that all your cats were on a similar type feeding schedule. So he's not going to work in a home that free feeds, leaves bowls of food down. Um, he's going to be competitive for his food. He's going to need a separate feeding station when you do feed, setting the either wet food, dry food, whatever you want to feed. He eats anything um, apart from the other cats, um, you know, because he'll either hog it all or get overly anxious about um, eating very fast and, and eating over overly zealously. Uh, good thing is I don't see any stomach issues, uh, no vomiting, no regurgitating, uh, no stool issues. So all of that is great. The other thing to mention though is he does get overstimulated. So he again, super cute, super friendly, will climb on your lap, will roll around, will be very loving, but can in kind of the blink of an eye grab you, uh, nip at you, um, wrap his, his feet around you with some claws, get in, and hiss and sort of get really overstimulated. You've got to understand that a cat like this that is only a year so he can learn but he's been out on his own, he hasn't had a family, he hasn't had consistent nice interactions with people so he just doesn't know the rules of the game. So he gets um, you know, overly zealous about everything. And he gets, when you get petting him and loving on him too much, he gets, um, you know, overstimulated. So not for a home with kids, not for a home with elderly people who want a lap cat that's just going to be sweet and laid back and mushy. Um, he needs a home, I would say probably with other cats, so he can learn how to behave. Um, not ruling out only cat, but um, I'm not at all seeing any political issues, confrontational issues with other cats, except for the food thing that I mentioned. But he is going to need a person who's pretty experienced with cats and who can read their body language, who knows they're going to get nipped a little bit, who can use a strong teacher voice um, to reprimand him if he gets overstimulated, can withdraw attention as you're supposed to do, you know, can help him learn the rules of the road. Again, he's only a year. Um, he can learn them, but if he goes into the wrong home where nobody teaches him that or where somebody is taken aback or, or frightened or whatever, he's not going to learn them or plays rough with him. You know, that these things wouldn't work and would only set the basis for him not being able to unlearn um, you know, a few of the early bad habits that he has just because he hasn't had um, good human-cat relations yet. But he's got great potential, very, very cute, sweet, linksy face, um, wants to be a good cat, just needs to learn how to do it.